the corporations own this country. I mean, <laughs> what? The I mean, truth. Yes. Look, you guys. Yeah, I, 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 okay, but you know, you know, we we talked you guys, about. You guys work for big corporations. You are corporations, so I, I take that to be the truth. Okay, yeah, but I, yeah, our yeah, corporations we were, don't. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a little different. I mean, the corporations we work for are a little different than Monsanto. Okay. <laughs> You know, we were talking last week about uh, some of the stuff that is subsidized in America, agriculturally, and it's all the stuff that goes into making the worst kinds of food. It's not beets and broccoli. It's no, and there should be and no subsidy. There should be okay. no subsidies for any food. Okay, but, uh, you know, after the show, a lot of people said to me that it's current. Why don't you talk about genetically modified foods? Okay, you're right. We should talk about genetically modified foods. And again, this is a conspiracy of both parties. Obama said in 2007, we would label genetically modified foods, which, by the way, Europe has this. China labels China, which puts that lead. That bastion of freedom. And puts lead in baby food, you know, or, or some shit well, like at that. At least you know it's there. Okay, but we can't have that in America. You know why? Because in America, corporations run the show. Even though nine out of ten Americans would like foods to at least be labeled, to right. at least we know they're Franken foods. Uh, why? Okay, why? they can't. Why? They because it says wait, it would wait, wait. hurt sales. No, no, no. So no. shut up and eat your, your fucking mutant no, chili. But, <laughs> that's why, because if. If it is, if it's useful to label food, so for instance, things like fair trade coffee, if you go to Kroger, which is, you know, if not the biggest, one of the very biggest supermarket chains in America, they use a system where you can track your produce, you can use a QR scan on your smartphone, oh, things like God that. Oh, for God's sake, who's going to do wait. that? Can, oh, yeah, no, can we no, just put you, it on the label like, no, like everybody else no, no, in the no. world? What, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, is that the market has, you know, when, when consumers want that information, it will. It's provided to them. Why? I don't care about it's genetically not modified provided. organisms, no, that's the point. which have we never been shown really, to hurt you, anybody. But you have a public role here, which is to warn people. It's not a question just what are you warning want, them of? Of what, whatever it is involved in, in what's in the food. What, if it's genetically modified, yeah, I'd they, like they to know that. that. I'd like to know modified. that. Listen, I, 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 wait, wait a second. Ask it. You know what? Wait a second. Here are the facts. Know whether it is and what it in is. Europe, they inform in Europe, only five percent of the food is genetically modified. Here, it's seventy percent. And what is the right. definition of genetically modified? Well, here's something that didn't used to exist. They didn't used to take a gene out of a bacterium and put mm -hmm. it in corn so that the corn grows its own insecticide. Right. That's right. Now we Which, do that. by the way, is good because then we use I know, less it's insecticide. Awesome. It's also delicious. No, wait, wait. Wait, hold on. Oh, no, there's yeah. a, there's okay, a good but, argument for it. But if I want to make a decision about whether or not to ingest that genetically modified yeah. organism, I don't want it to be kept secret from me. If yeah, you are, if the argument against right. it from the industry, yeah, exactly. if the argument against it from the industry is that yeah. I will hysterically, as a consumer, make a decision if I see that label not to buy that corn. Well, the solution to that is not then to to, to make it a secret thing that I'm ingesting it, but rather to convince me that it's safe. And they just to, show, and just to show that we are not partisan, you know, the villain in this yeah. is Obama to yeah. me yeah. because he, he first of all he promised blatantly that he would look into this and do sure. something, and he didn't. He also appointed what is the guy's name, Michael Taylor, used to be a VP at Monsanto, the seat of evil, uh, to be the food czar, the FDA deputy commissioner of foods. And of course, Monsanto's latest Frankenfood got speedy approval because this guy is in charge of it. Mm. Because it's like putting Jerry Sandusky in charge of Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> of course he's going to approve with speediness. Should anything, if there is not a health risk, if there is not a health <clears throat> risk and there are not health risks but associated with... But there may be with, a health Wait, 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 wait. There may be. There are not known health risks that are associated with GMOs. Why shouldn't the labeling be voluntary? And then if you choose, voluntary. I mean, because... Voluntary? No, oh, yeah, I know. Voluntary I'm, in America? I'm you can right, right. Let's, 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 yeah, let's, let's trust the corporations no. to put people's health above profit, because that's what they no, would do. Uh, that's not what I'm saying. That's it's what like, corporations normally I'm do. Confused.